With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, so the question is solve the equation x raised to 4 minus 9x cube plus 27x square minus 29x plus 6 is equals to 0. While it is given that uh, this equation having the one root as 2 minus under root 3. Okay, so let's see the solution here. So simply we have to find the other roots of this equation that is let's say it as f of x is equals to x raised to 4 minus 9 times of x cube plus 27x square minus of 29 times of x plus 6 is equals to 0. Okay, now having the one root let's say alpha is equals to 2 minus under root of 2. Now we know this type of roots always come in conjugate pairs that means the second root that is beta let's say beta it will become equals to 2 plus under root of 3 and let's say the third root is nothing but gamma which we have to find and the fourth root is delta which we have to find here okay. Now what we are going to do that is as we know the general form of equation of 2 degree okay means 2 power. Uh, general form of equation is nothing but x square minus x in bracket alpha plus beta plus alpha into beta is equals to 0 where alpha plus beta is sum of root alpha into beta is product of root. So let us find this that is x square minus x alpha plus beta that means 2 minus under root 3 plus 2 plus under root of 3 okay plus 2 minus of under root 3 multiply by 2 plus under root 3 this is equals to 0. Now, this two terms will be get cancelled out. 2 plus 2 will be 4. So, it will become x square minus 4x plus. Now, this is nothing but a minus b and a plus b. So, what is the formula of a minus b and a plus b? So, this is nothing but is equals to a square minus b square. So, according to this, this will become 2 square that is 4 minus of under 3 square will be nothing but 3. Okay, this is equals to 0. This implies that x square minus of 4x. Um, plus 1 is equals to 0. Okay. Now, uh, to find the other true roots, what we are going to do here, we will use the division method because this is, uh, uh, this equation is a power of 4. Okay. Now, here we will write the coefficients of it that is 1 minus 9, uh, then 27 minus 29 and 6. Now, for which we are going to divide here, that is if you see this 4 and 1. We will divide it by this factors that is uh, we will multiply 4 by minus 1. So, it will become 4 and here it will be 1. Okay, This is one of the method which we are going to use to divide uh, to find out the other roots. Okay, This is nothing but a double division method. Okay, So, here it will be 0, it will be 0, it will become 1. 1 into 4 will be how much that is 4. Okay, And then here we will say 0. Now, nine, minus 9 plus 4 will be how much? That is minus of 5. Now, minus 5 multiply by 4. How much? That is minus of 20. But here, we will uh, pick one term of 1. That is 1 into 1. This will be 1 here. Okay. Now, try and now minus, okay, 26 plus 1. It will be how much? 28. 28 minus 20. It will be how much? that is okay sorry uh, do one correction this should be minus of 1 okay because uh, here we are taking the 4 so this should be minus of 1 so according to that it will become minus of 1 now minus 1 minus 20 minus 21 uh, 27 minus 21 will be how much that is 6 okay plus 6 now this plus 6 will be multiplied by 4 so 6 4 is a 24 okay while the second one will come from this minus 5 multiply by minus 1 will be how much that is 5. Okay. So, 24 plus 5 is 29 minus 29 plus 29. So, here we will get the remainder as 0. So, here this term is going to be 0. But on multiplying this 6 to minus of 1, it will be minus 6 here. So, again this remainder will going to be 0. Okay. So, what we got? That is, we got an another equation that is x square minus 5x plus 6. Okay. So, by solving this equation, 
we are going to get the other two rows. Okay. So, let us say uh, this can be written as x square minus of 3x minus of twice of x plus 6 is equals to 0. Let us equate to 0. Now, if common, if you common x, so here it will remain x minus 3 minus 2 common. In this bracket, x minus 3 will remain, it, equal, it is equals to 0. If we take x minus 3 as common, so here it will remain x minus 2 is equals to 0. This implies that x will be equals to 3 or x will be equals to 2. So, actually here we have found the third and fourth root that is third root is nothing but 3 or the fourth root that is delta is equals to what that is 2. So, finally what we can write that is we can say that the roots of equation f of x or we can say polynomial are 2 minus under root 3, 2 plus under root 3, third root is 3 and the fourth root is what that is 2. So, this is nothing but the required solution for this particular question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download doubt and app today.